So let's talk about a couple of exotic thrillers that are really guilty pleasures of mine. Devil in the Flesh and Devil in the Flesh 2. Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Doyle, better known to you as, a bi as the Big D. Excuse me. Today I'm going to do a back-to-back -back review of two guilty pleasures, which they are exotic thriller films, which also can be factually also horror, horror or suspense or what have you. Uh, it's Devil in the Flesh, along with its sequel, Devil in the Flesh 2. Both of these films follow a rebellious teen named Debbie who apparently decides to get in with people who are trying to make fun of her and all that stuff until she gets obsessed with an older person, a, namely the, namely a teacher or something like that. So, let's get this show on the road. And I won't try and give the whole details and what have you uh, on the these movies, because I'm sure a lot of you have never seen these movies, so I'm going to try not to give into a complete um, story and spoil the whole movie and why have you, if you've not seen this. So here we go. First up is the original Devil in the Flesh, the first one from 1998, starring Rose McGowan. Now, I kind of say exotic drawers, but I mean a slight error. It's erotic. Well, exotic or erotic, that's that's sort of the same thing, sort of, I think, I don't know, but I apologize. So let's do these. Uh, now, our, our main character is Debbie Strand, a beautiful but troubled young girl, is being brought by her previously estranged grandmother, played by Peg Shirley in L.A., after her mother and her mother's boyfriend die in a suspicious house fire. But once Debbie's with her grandma, she's extremely strict. A fundamentalist Christian who believes that her granddaughter is exactly like her mother, so she forces her to wear her old clothes instead of buying new ones and abuses her by being her with, with a walking cane. Boy, she really is... Uh, I mean, but soon, once she goes to her new school, she gets enthralled with Pierre Rinaldi, an English teacher. However, he has a fiancé and strong scruples, so rejects Debbie's repeated advances. But apparently, he finds his life is ruined and bodies are piling up like crazy. But I'll let you see the movie for yourself and what have you. Anyway. Well, some of it's good and some of it's not. But I will say it's... It's a hair mess, but... I have seen this numerous times, mostly on HBO, and unfortunately I saw this after I saw the second one, but nevertheless, I really think this was pretty good and all. The film was also released under the title Dearly Devoted. Anyway, and the film was directed by Steve Cohen, so apparently... I will tell you that I do have a slight downside because this kind of feels more like a, a su erotic suspense thriller since you don't get much of bloodiness and what have you, except maybe a tiny bit. But even so, I think Devil in the Flesh is, well, not too bad of a movie. Uh, you could find the movie on YouTube, but I'm afraid it's not up here anymore. I wish there was another way you could find it, though. I mean, the last I heard of this, it was on um, Film Rise, which who now has um, the distribution rights to the film. But even so, <laughs> I think it's a pretty darn killer flick.
All right, and now it's time to talk about the second one, Devil in the Flesh 2 from 2000. And this time it stars Joey Lynn O'Keefe as Debbie. Now, I recalled watching this when it premiered on HBO. This film has an alternate title, Teacher's Pet. Anyway, Joey Lynn O'Keefe replaces R Rose McGowan in this film. And she stars as Debbie Strand. Well, it was changed. They changed the last name to Strong in this film, who now escapes from the mental institution she was sent off to after the first installment. Which I'm not telling you how she that happened because I didn't spoil the end. Well, the complete ending to that first movie. Thank you. Well, apparently Debbie steals a teenage girl's. Car and identity after she dies in an unexpected accident. And heads off to the college she was supposed to attend. And Debbie quickly develops a psychotic crush on her dashing writing professor, Dr. Sam Deckner, and kills anyone she perceives as a threat to their relationship. To make matters worse, her Yeah, you you be surprised. Um, <laughs> her roommate soon finds out she's been lying and all that jazz. Now, actually, here's a fun fact I'll tell you. S Sam is actually played by Sue Garcia, who, whether you know it or not, that's actually Nick Corey. You might remember him from the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, of course, he was Rod. Anyway. Yeah, well, now some of the kills are a little bit better, but still not too bloody and all. Even so, I thought this was pretty good in ways. I mean, I mean, Joey really fired, got a little, fired things up and got to be more hard. And even after what we saw her in Halloween H2O, which I've already talked about, and she's all that. But that was more of a rom-com. Of course, you know, Halloween H2O so was horror. But Devil in the Flesh 2, I thought, wasn't too bad. They both have their differences and what have you. I still think um the first one's a little, is pretty good, and the second one's almost as close, but... Well, you be the judge. I would give, ask for you to maybe give them one try. If you like Maybe Rose McGowan, go with the first one. And if you like it, go to the second one. Just depends if you like Joey Lyle Keefe. Or if you want to try to continue the story, I'd say just go for it. Uh, but you don't have to take my word for it. Now, I did recall Devil in the Flesh, she was on Tubi, but it isn't anymore. I'm pretty sure it could be on the Film Rise um, streaming service, but I might be wrong, though. They were on YouTube through Film Rise, but not anymore. So, who knows? But, anyway, if you've seen Devil in the Flesh or Devil in the Flesh 2, or heck, both, please tell me what you thought about the films in the comments section below. Excuse me, everyone. My eyes are starting to give out. I know it. I'm getting late. So, anyway, tell me what you thought about... Want either movie or both movies in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below. Subscribe to my channel as well. Be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of Scary Movie 2. And also, I will bring to you my spoiler-free review of the new Mortal Kombat. Which I unfortunately failed to go see today. But I will not get into that discussion. Thank you very much. Anyway, if you like this, check out these other films where we see young girls get a crush on older guys. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of The Crush. The upper right-hand corner is the review of Wild Things. The bottom left-hand corner is my review of The In Crowd. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.